But let me tell you, now that John Mahama has put together his team, who else is putting together his party? Well, he's declared his intention to participate in previous presidential elections. Uh, he says he's providing an alternative as an independent candidate. His attempt in previous times actually have failed. Well, quite sadly, you must say. But he says he has learned his lesson and is repackaging his party from the Independent People's Party, that's IPP, to the Liberals Party on Ghana, LPG. Maybe you think that sounds like liquefied petroleum gas. It's not. The leader, Kofi Apalo, is here in the studio with me. Mr. Apalo, you're welcome. Thank you. Also here in the studio is Margaret O'Brien Safo, who is the General uh, Secretary. Mrs. Is this Mrs. Safo? Yes. Right, you're welcome. Thank you. So I've never seen you before. Have you always been the General mm. Secretary for the IPP, I was, now LPG? I was actually the running mate to him uh, at the last elections. Oh, yes. I must have missed it then. Yeah. Ah, sorry, <laughs> forgive me. Well, you're welcome to the studio. Now, um, what do you get the feeling, Mr. Palo, it's been a while since you changed the name of your party. Do you get the feeling that people are beginning to take you a bit more seriously? That is, if you agree that previously people haven't really taken you seriously. Yes, uh, you are right to a certain point because uh, initially people thought I was running as an independent candidate because of the name we chose. We chose uh, Independent, independent People's, People's Party. Party. So it's like, even those learned, okay. they were even saying independent candidate, independent candidate. So, I mean, it has cost us a lot. Okay. But, uh, now that we change to Liberal Party, I uh, can see a lot of people from all walks of life. Uh, okay. Joining the party on, on a daily basis. So, what went into the choice of the LPG? Because some everybody hears LPG, they will think it's a is that liquefied petroleum gas. Oh, actually, it's a liberal party. We are part of the liberal African liberal network, yeah. and we are also part of the Libra International. Okay. Uh, our headquarters is in uh, Johannesburg. Okay. Uh, in South Africa, where our mother party is. Uh, Democratic Alliance. Okay. And then in the UK we have the Liberal Dems. Okay. And then uh, Kenya we have the MDC. That is the Odinga's party. And uh, La Côte d'Ivoire here we have Watara's party. That's part of. Uh, okay. Yeah. I come to you. So you tell us what sort of reforms you have introduced. That for which reason you think that Ghanaians should begin to take your your party a bit more seriously in terms of how they vote. Because we've seen how they vote. It appears they don't take your party seriously. But I want to bring Madame in into this conversation. Why did you decide to join the team? Thank you very much for this opportunity. Um, I really decided to join LPG because I saw that uh, Mr. Palu really has a vision. <laughs> and uh, when I read about their manifesto and everything, I thought this is the party I should, I mean, sacrifice myself which to. Which was the part, which part of the manifesto got to you? Well, the, 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 the crux of it is... Uh, the liberals, Ghanaians, we want freedom. Okay, but Ghana, we're, we're free, aren't we? We are not. We are not? We are well, not. Why do you we, say it's so? just by uh, word of mouth. We, are, we, we, we say we are free, we are free since independence. But what shows that we are free? What shows that we are not free? We are not free in the sense that uh, we vote for people to come to power and perform what we, the electorals, uh, uh, electorates, uh, you know, want. But they come into power and then they start doing their own thing. Instead of serving us, we rather serve them. Okay. And what uh, Mr. Apalu's vision is that uh, it centers around the poor and the marginalized. That uh, even if uh, we happen to come to power, women and children will be the focus. And I'm a woman because if a woman, you know, is empowered, it goes a long way for everybody. So okay. I think that's well, why. Well, that's I'd... certainly a point I'll agree yeah. with. But then let me find out get from you. Uh, there have been people who have said that if you listen to the things that Mr. Palo, for example, says, that his party uh, is not as uh, it's not an independently it's not as independently an alternative as he would want us be uh, believe it is. That uh, he sometimes speaks as though he is more MPP. No, in fact, we supported NPP. You did. Uh, yeah, we did support a NPP mm. to come to power. But uh, w because based on their manifesto, it was uh, something similar to ours. Yours. So we felt that, I mean, we were disqualified in the first place by the Electoral Commission for a whimsy, a, you know, excuse. So we just decided to give our support to the NPP because we felt that uh, uh, they could deliver better. Okay. But now we've seen that uh, we, we should You're have... You're disappointed? Yeah, we are really disappointed. Mr. Balu, are you disappointed yes. too? 
she, in she the has, NPP? Oh, she has, she has said it all. So. Well, she speaks for the... I'm yeah, she's the general secretary. So uh, yeah, but she, she speaks, speaks, she speaks for the women in the party. Oh, who, no, who do no, you no. Put? She's, I'm just she's saying, the, I'm the just general saying, secretary. Don't mind me. I'm just she's saying. She's the general secretary. I just, so wanted she to hear, the party. I just wanted to hear your version of that too. No, she's the general secretary, so she speaks for the it. party. I get it. I get it. Do you feel disappointed in the NPP? Oh, yes. in To some extent. But because as a party, the party is not happy. You understand because the party uh, supported MPP and they were expecting the MPP to recognize okay. their support. Recognize their them. support, oh, as yes. in you wanted some sort of uh, oh, some see, sort of reward for supporting no. the party. Uh, actually, yes, because uh, uh, if you go to or at that jurisdiction, like if you go to UK for instance, when uh, uh, Lib Dems supported conservative yeah they made ne uh, neglect uh what do you call it uh what uh Br deputy. bring it home no 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 i i, oh, I understand I'm coming there. hold on hold on you you do but somebody out there uh, doesn't uh, so uh, what it uh, means exactly. is that they, they made him the let's, deputy let's, prime minister Mr. Palu, what it Mr. is Mr. Palu, is that when on. you support hold the party Mr. Palu, hold on for me. yes my let's, baby let's localize the conversation yes. and let's help the people oh, okay. who, in this country to understand yeah because you see some people don't understand that that in politics, yeah, when you go into alliance with somebody, or when you support a person or somebody to win something, are you okay? It is okay. It's, it's your effort, yeah, that gives them the opportunity. So they should recognize your effort. I mean, uh, I'm a chartered accountant. She is a professional. The other people in our party who are equally good, so that can be given opportunity. So, 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 no, that so, can be so given opportunity to a, exhibit is a, Mr. Their Mr. It's a question that, yeah. and I'm seeking to yeah. get a certain clarification for my viewers here. So help me. It's uh, did you support the did the LPG IPP now LPG support the NPP because you were expecting some sort of say appointment financial reward. Uh, not necessarily financial reward, okay. but appointment in the way, at least an appointment to give our people the opportunity what to exhibit what they have. What did you want? Or even if you are giving the Ghana Library Board to for us to manage it, are you okay? We would have transformed that area. Are you okay? Would it, would it, if you are giving us opportunity to even uh, be part of the uh, JRA, are you okay? Ghana Revenue Authority. Authority. Uh, even uh, as a rep there, we, we would have even advised them not to go the way they are going, this in uh, this thing that they are doing. Are you okay? I mean, well, um, well, how do you respond to those who say that? Well, that was a selfish expectation. No, not side. a selfish expectation. Uh, we have a lot of stuff within us. That is why we came out to tell people that give us uh, your mandate so that we can come and serve you better. Are you okay? okay? But they didn't give us opportunity through the EC. Are you okay? okay? So now we supported a party. So we should be given the opportunity but to also serve in an area. I mean, there's nothing wrong. Hasn't the, come. No, it doesn't come. If, so in 2020, uh, if you don't get to go into the election, no, no, we are going. 2020, we are I going. I mean, I'm just asking, just in case, <laughs> what no. happened? What happened in 2016 happens again in 2020. No, it won't happen again. I'm just asking. because it's you see, a, this a, time around, hypothesis. no, no, this time the, the reason it's going to not, it's not going to happen again is that the crook means are you okay that they use against that the crooked means that they use against that is not going to happen because this time around we are marching all the people, the signatories, to the easy. To go and sign. To go and sign there in okay. their presence. Let's come back to your party. What is it? Which new things are you doing? For which reason you think it's about time Ghanaians took your party and your people seriously? Yeah. Uh, uh, for now, we've been able to uh, gather all our regional executives properly, our national executives in place. Okay. We are still working on our constituency executives. Are you okay? So the structures are perfectly uh, laid shaped. down. Are you okay. okay? So. Uh, it means that we are serious. You know, 2020, we are going to give MPP and NDC a run for their money. Do you, do you sincerely, genuinely, honestly share in this feeling? Um, um, feeling about what? This, the feeling that people will now begin to take you seriously because you have put together your constituency and your regional uh, executives, you know, mm -hmm. you've been able to mobilize your regional executives, put things in order at the regional level, and that you're going to give the NPP and the NDC a run for their money, as he's saying. Mm -hmm. Do you genuinely, yeah, sincerely, yeah, honestly? Yeah, I believe in that and why? more to that, because um, even before, the tw before we were disqualified, we gathered some momentum and we really had people. 
In fact, if I showed you my phone at that time, it was always blinking. People were, and people didn't really understand why we were disqualified. Mm. You know, so we have that zeal that uh, people are still, you know, crumbling to come and join the party. We want a third force. We, okay. We're tired of MPP, NDC. If you want a third force, don't you genuinely think that perhaps the uh, parties like uh, maybe the PPP, based on the election results, the, or the CPP, mm -hmm. could, have, could have been a better alliance so that all these small parties put come together, make yourself, a, 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 you know, viable. Yeah, a bigger viable party to contend with. How about yeah, that? Yeah, that is true. Have but you uh, thought of it? Yeah, I mean, we, it's hard yeah, for yeah, men yeah, to sometimes yeah, we let have. go, but for us women We have, because you know? um, IDEC is even trying to bring all the smaller parties together. together. Okay. So that uh, where they filled uh, the MPP candidate and uh, uh, MPP candidate, we can also, uh, with all uh, the smaller parties, can fill one candidate and support the person. Okay. So it, we've thought about that. Okay. Is that part of the reforms within your party that you've done, Mr. Paolo? Come again? Is that part of the reforms that we should expect in oh, your party? Actually, something you're looking uh, to do? Actually, if you look at all the other smaller parties, more or less, they're like they are dead parties now. Are you okay? <laughs> they are. They are not serious. They're they not serious. Be, no. They're CPP, not serious. PPP, CPP, they're not serious. PPNC, yes, they're, 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 dead. <laughs> they're not. They're dead. They're not. They're dead. But LPG is more alive than ah, all those oh, parties. Sure. Oh sure, I'm telling really? you. Oh yes, we are more serious. We are more serious. L uh, PNC and uh, what do you call that one? CPP. Yeah. APC. Mm. Oh, it's non-existent. You see. Okay, the, let me take your final yeah. words. Let this be your final word for me, Mr. Palu. I take your final word, and then, or should I start with you? Any, Any of, of you mm -hmm. can go. Give us your final words, please. Yeah, actually, what we are, are asking the general public. What? Yes. What yeah, you want them to, to know? We are serious and more than serious, and we are inviting everybody to be part of us because we believe if they give us opportunity, we will be able to provide what they've been aiming for. Because since uh, Rollins time, people have been complaining, there's no money in their pocket. There's no mm -hmm. money in their pocket. Every government, people have been complaining about that. But we want to tell Ghanaians that we have the solution. The solution is that every child is going to be paid child benefit. Okay, that's those what Those who are not working, and above 18 years, we're going to introduce unemployment benefit. And we're also going to change the way we pay salaries in Ghana. We we'll make sure we pay people from two ways or maybe one way. Such that every time there will be money in people's pocket to okay. buy goods and services. Are you okay? Uh, we're trying to trans... Uh, actually, our agenda, our plan is to create jobs. Every initiative that we are taking is going to create jobs okay. at the end of the day. So we are setting up a $10 billion mm. job fund. Wrap up for me, Mr. Palo. Yeah. Wrap up for me. We are, uh, we are going to set up a $10 billion job fund. And this job fund... We are expecting our graduates to tap into it, okay. get money to start their own businesses. We want to support the small businesses to grow. We okay. want to help every Ghanaian. We want to support their businesses to grow. Okay, okay. Mr. Palo, I wish you all the best. But let me take your final words, Madam General Secretary. <laughs> Thank you, my sister. And remember, she's the first woman general secretary. <laughs> the first female woman. I, I admire you. I, 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 I love it when women are doing things that sure. uh, society sort of pushed uh, uh, women away from. So it's really great. Congratulations. Your Thank final you. words will be, what do you want listeners to, uh, viewers to go away from this conversation with? What should well, they keep remembering? Uh, I will tell my fellow Ghanaians and especially women that uh, NDC and PPD feel just woefully and that uh, they should join the Liberal Party because we have a good package for Ghanaians. Okay. And that uh, when they support us to come to power, I think we will not fail them. Okay. Yeah. Well, LPG, the Liberals Party of Ghana, right? Yeah. They're saying that they are ready. If you thought that the IPP was not a serious party, the Liberals <laughs> Party of Ghana say they have made some changes and they are coming out strong in 2020. So you've had the John Mahama team. Uh, he's getting ready to, for 2020. The LPG says they're also getting ready. In the coming weeks, we'll tell you who else is getting ready as we prepare for especially uh, all the primaries and all the other elections by the other parties. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, my dear. Thank you.